Hey everyone, it's Intel here, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining how CPS affects PvP. Today, in this video, I'm going to be going into detail on what exactly the benefits to clicking faster are in Minecraft PvP, and the differences between clicking 6 CPS, 12 CPS, and 20 CPS. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then I'd really appreciate it if you left a like or considered subscribing. It really does mean a lot to me, especially since I'm getting so close to 100k, but anyways, with all that being said, let's get right into this video. Alright, so before I get into a technical explanation on how CPS works, I figured that it would be better to show you guys a visual example first. So right now I am on the server PvP land. It's actually a really cool server. I will leave the IP down in the description, but what is unique about this server is that you have the ability to fight PvP bots. So you can fight different bots that range in difficulty, but they also range in their click speed. So what I did was I got in contact with the owner of PvP land, who's a friend of mine, and I asked him if we could make different bots fight each other. Now keep in mind when these bots are fighting each other, they have the exact same ping, the exact same movement. They're literally exactly the same except for their CPS. What you'll be able to see in the following footage are these bots fighting each other, and you should get a pretty good visual example of what CPS actually does while you're PvPing. Okay, so unfortunately my audio didn't record in these clips, so I'm going to be commentating over it, but the first thing that we have is our control group. So both of the bots that are fighting each other right now are both clicking 8 CPS. Every other variable with them is the same, which means their ping, their movement, everything else is the same. And you can see that when they fight, they're both pretty much taking the same amount of knockback, they're getting the same amount of hits on each other. It's as even as a fight that you can get. So once again, both bots are clicking 8 CPS, and you can see that no bot has an advantage over the other bot, and this is what we'd expect. If all the variables are the exact same, then the bots should be pretty even. So moving on to our first experiment, we set up one bot who was clicking 6 CPS to go against a bot that was clicking 20 CPS. And you can see right away that there's a very obvious difference between both of these bots. The 20 CPS bot is constantly getting more hits than the 6 CPS bot. I mean, it's not even a fair fight. The bot that's clicking 20 CPS is just shoving the other bot into a locker. But keep in mind the main observations here, and that is that the higher CPS bot is taking less knockback, and it's able to get more double hits. Okay, so moving on to our second experiment, and this time we paired a bot that was clicking 12 CPS against a bot that was clicking 20 CPS, so double the CPS going from 6 to 12. 12 is just about the average CPS that you would get jitter clicking, and 20 CPS is like the peak CPS that you would get butterfly clicking, so this test is probably a lot more practical of a scenario. And you can see that the 20 CPS bot is still taking less knockback than the 12 CPS bot. However, it's nowhere near as noticeable as comparing the 20 CPS bot with the 6 CPS bot. And you can see that both bots are still trading hits, even though the 12 CPS bot is taking more knockback, they're still getting the same amount of hits on each other. And then for our last experiment, we paired up a 20 CPS bot against a 1000 CPS bot. So this other bot is clicking a thousand times per second, which sounds like much more, but when you see them fight, the results are practically the same as when the 20 CPS bot went against the 12 CPS bot. So they're still trading hits, the 1000 CPS bot is taking less knockback, but it's not a big deal. So looking at the results, you should be able to see that the faster you click, you are able to take less knockback and possibly get double hits on your opponent, but there are diminishing returns once you start to click fast enough. So keep in mind that these are bots and these aren't real players, so take these results as you will. But let's get into the technical explanation now, and basically every time you click on your enemy, your horizontal movement is multiplied by 60%. This means that every time you attack someone, you're taking less KB as opposed to when you're not attacking them. That also means that the faster that you click, your horizontal knockback is going to become less and less. And then when you get into the 1000 CPS range, which is absurd, nobody's ever going to click that, but looking at the bots, you can see that whenever the 1000 CPS bot was fighting, it was taking barely any horizontal knockback at all. Most of its knockback was vertical, which is unaffected by CPS. So clicking faster does make you take less knockback, but that's not the only thing that it does to your movement. Whenever you click on another entity while you're sprinting, your sprint will break for just a split second. This essentially means that the faster that you click while you're sprinting, the slower you're going to be moving forward. On the surface, this doesn't sound entirely that useful, but it makes a big deal if you're trying to combo someone. When you're moving slower, it's easier to hold someone in a combo. You don't want to be sprinting directly at them, or else you're going to catch up to them while they're moving backward, and you're going to enter their hit range again. So by making you take less knockback and making it also easier for you to combo your opponent, high CPS can be pretty OP at times. Now clicking faster in PvP is one thing, but you get a huge advantage for clicking faster when you're placing blocks and 
things like bridging. Now, this is already pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to talk about this too much, but there are certain bridging techniques that are pretty much exclusive to certain clicking styles on mice that double-click. One of those bridging techniques is god bridging, and you pretty much need to be drag clicking if you want to be able to reliably god bridge. Now, before someone comments that you can god bridge if you just get the timings of your clicks right, let's be realistic, uh, nobody is that perfect. For 99% of people, it's going to be a lot more easier and a lot more reliable to drag click while you're god bridging. And then there's other things like block extensions where you clutch yourself from falling into the void that are a lot more exclusive to high CPS and it's like literally impossible to do if you're just normally clicking on your mouse. So I could end the video here because I already explained the advantages of clicking faster, but that wouldn't do this video justice. I don't want people to start thinking that they're not winning fights because they're not clicking fast enough, so let's go into a more practical standpoint. When it comes to PvP, there are so many more factors that contribute to you winning your fight against your opponent. There's other things that will contribute a lot more to your knockback than CPS, like your ping and your movement, and higher CPS is going to give a bigger advantage in certain game modes and certain environments. So an example where clicking faster would be really strong would be in sumo, because sumo is pretty much bare bones PvP. You don't have any secondaries, you don't have speed, you are literally just punching your opponent, and the only factors that contribute into PvP and sumo are your movement, your ping, and your click speed. So because the PvP in sumo is so limited, then clicking faster in sumo is going to make a lot more noticeable of a difference. But now let's go ahead and take a look at a game mode like Build UHC, and Build UHC is really complex. It has a lot of other things that will affect PvP other than CPS. Every secondary in your hotbar can be used to affect the outcome of the fight, and there's big things like fishing rods for example. Chances are, if you lose to someone in rod PvP, that's because they're better with a rod than you, not because they're clicking faster than you. And if you actually look at big PvP communities like no debuff or build UHC, and you look at the top players in those communities, you'll notice that a lot of those top players aren't people who are clicking 20 CPS. Once again, I cannot emphasize this enough, 90% of the time when you're fighting someone and they beat you, it's not because they're clicking faster than you. Yes, clicking faster is nice to have and it does give you an advantage, but the bigger thing that you should focus on is your aim. If you can aim while clicking faster, then go for it. But the moment your click speed starts to affect your aim, you should not be clicking that fast and you should prioritize much more on your aim because that's a much bigger deal in Minecraft PvP. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video, so thank you guys for watching. If you want to support me, then you can consider buying my Lunar Client Cloak. I will leave it down in the description. But thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.